Hello, this is a clock radio project. It started out originally as a internet radio project and kind of morphed. It's in a rough prototype box right now, so it's a 3D printed box printed on a Cubex Trio. And let's see, on the back we have some connections. Basically you have your speakers, you have your network connector, power, and USB. And the USB is pretty powerful since I've got a big old hub in there that can charge devices if you want to plug it up to it. Eventually maybe I'll have it to where it can read the media from the devices. But for right now I'm pretty happy with it just being able to work. <laughs> Let me plug this guy up. He's running on a BeagleBone Black Rev C, but he should be able to run on the B version as long as you pop in a SD card because it'll take at least four gig for the operating system and all the other stuff. Uh, the actual program itself isn't that huge, but you know. What we have on the front panel here, the blinking light is the user LED. The power light you can't shut off, so I just have a piece of tape over it. The buttons on the front are actually for up, down, left, right, and enter. And over here we have a reset and power. As it boots up, it's going to go through the normal shell operating boot up sequence and eventually launch our application. Once that starts, it's going to start looking for the internet connection. It has a Wi-Fi pigtail in it, and by touching on the Wi-Fi button over there, you can set it up for different networks. And it'll go out and try and find them. It's pretty good about automatically connecting when it's in range of a Wi-Fi that it knows. Otherwise, it has menus for stepping you through connecting to new networks. Once it's connected, it'll go out and get the current internet time. And once the time has been set, it will show you time-related images. Um, since it's still summer, while I'm doing this demo, it'll be showing you images of summer. And also the current time. The slider on the bottom is the volume. Let's crank this guy up so we can actually hear it a little better. And... There's also a little hole, which you can kind of see on the side over here, which is a microphone, which will allow us to say things like, <clears throat> What time is it? The current time is 1.36 p.m. So it's using Pocket Sphinx, which can actually go out and do continuous recognition, and it's listening for keywords. Um, one of them is the question of the time. Another one would be, what's the weather? Weather report. The weather forecast for Sunday is sunshine and clouds mixed high 79 degrees Fahrenheit, winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now the speech synthesis, I couldn't find anything online that was free that I liked. They have some pretty good ones out there. But uh, the best one's one you write yourself. So I put together a quick little routine that'll parse the text to speech and look for recorded segments, raw recorded segments, stitch them together and play them as one piece. So that's kind of what this guy does. It's using my own voice, but it's easy enough to record your own voice. Um, the USB sound card that's in there only seems to operate at about 44 kilohertz, so you need to record raw speech at about 44 kilohertz. So the weather we're getting from Weather Underground, you'll need to log on and get an ID, and there's a text file called weather.txt. You change the key to your ID, and you get somewhere around like 400 requests per day. They're pretty good about that, and it works very well. Uh, let's see. The first tab up here is a Wi-Fi tab. It'll tell you the information that you're connected onto. It gives you the option to connect to new guys or disconnect. And also a couple of test buttons that will probably disappear as the project moves on. And let's see. One of the things you can do also, you've seen the clock, which also shows you images based off of a scheduler. The scheduler allows you to set up alarms and timed images and events. The alarms are pretty self-explanatory, like 6 a.m. I want you to wake me up every Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, but not the weekends. And you can set up overrides that say, I never want to be woken up on Fridays. I don't have a different one for that. Things like that. You can also set up um, timed images based off of the time of day or within a certain hour. 
like I have another image that starts up at about 9 a.m., or rather 6 a.m. to about 9 a.m., telling me it's time to put the trash on the curb on every Tuesday. Every second Tuesday, however, it'll tell me that it's time for recycling. One of the things that I needed this thing to do was a radio, because in my garage, I don't get radio. So I thought, why not put in internet radio? So this guy will basically tune on to a radio station, go back to WRLT, and once it connects, it should start playing the radio. And also, it will go out and ask Amazon for, hey, what is the image for this album based off of the name and the album name? And as that changes, as new songs play, it'll update the images and kind of give you a basic view of what's going on in the radio. It's pretty fun. The other thing we have, of course, is the weather. And it's using Weather Underground for this. If you click on individual days, it will update the weather, telling you what's going on. And I thought, hey, it's a computer. Why not add some sort of intercom? turn up the volume. And basically it allows you to connect on to a Lin phone connection. Right now there's a problem with the audio, but once you connect to somebody, it'll remember the IP address and add them into a library so the next time it comes up it'll actually allow you to do things like I want to call that device. So it's kind of set up to be a basic little intercom system. All right, well, that pretty much goes over the project, and I hope you enjoyed it.